Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, use the Plush and Arc SDK. So go to your uh, local disk C uh, drive and uh, you know go to the folder and we're going to get started. Now uh, if you want to go to the website, there's a little link right here, you click this and it'll take you to the website. Uh, but we're going to go open the shell and uh, we're going to um, we're going to actually use this now. So I'm going to show you go through step by step all the services that uh, that are core to the Plushie Network. Everything else you're going to have to figure out on your own. Making the website you're going to have to figure it out on your own. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go through two different scenarios with certain things. So first of all um, let's start with the account services. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in Wii U dash accounts and remember if you're hosting this for both Wii U or PS3 and you can you can use this software for whatever you want you don't have to use it for Wii or Minecraft but that's what this is really made for you know what I'm saying so if you want to use this for something else different game maybe switch or something then do whatever you want because this is a fully flexible and modifiable what you can just do whatever you want with this stuff so um yeah I'd, I'd encourage you to use be creative with this you know if you want to work on your own scripts or whatever make your own program out of whatever I made so you try you you do whatever you can but this is the base plushie network here just text documents pretty much so um first of all I'm going to show you how to run the account. So, let's say you're hosting my Minecraft mini games, which you can uh, you can install on the World folder. Uh, let me find it. There's a World folder here. If you go right here, World folder it has all the World files for Wii U and some PS3. However, you're gonna have to use another tool to uh, convert the Wii U worlds to PS3 because I didn't do them because uh, I I I import the uh, latest versions of my mini games to uh, PS3 uh, so you're gonna have to do that yourself so first of all let's get into what the account ID is so um, this is just for reference so I'm gonna fill this in as 001 so that's our first account right here that's for reference and server ID is if let's say you want to separate who's on which account Nintendo Network account let's say you have a hundred friends on your account and they all have a plushy uh your and don't call your plushy network plushy network please or use the plushy network logo call it something else let's say um androff network okay so let's say that the username is going to be uh waluigi waluigi is the uh waluigi uh 3334 is the nnid of the um First friend list. Now this is this is complete. This is just for organization. You know what I'm saying? So if you're like, who's on one friend list? Which account do I use to play with certain people? If you're gonna have multiple accounts uh, to run this, then yeah, you could do that. Uh, but that's not really needed. So you don't really need this. But I'm just saying, if you want to uh, organize this, then you can organize it like that. So the username. So obviously, obvious answer here, you're going to type in the username. We're going to put in uh, Bob1059. Okay, Bob1059. Um, and this is the username of the and the person that signed up for a plushie account. Now I'm going to go through um, how you're going to make the actual accounts in a minute. Uh, this I'm just showing you how to fill it out. but like what instances will I need to actually make the accounts I will go through that in a minute so the account type this is an art organization thing this doesn't do anything it's just for organization let's say you want to make this person uh, some some king thing I don't know whatever you want to do with this I don't actually use this for anything but originally it was supposed to be used for the perks uh, thing service that I had called Club Plush that was discontinued that was what that was originally for so it's really didn't do anything when you first make an account 
you always put the points at zero. Every game that someone wins, you can change this if you want. Every game that somebody wins, they get two points, or depending on the mini game, it's a different point uh, amount of points that they get. This is up to you again. Uh, extra content owned. Now this is important right here. So if you're gonna host my mini games, there's some maps. Now you can change this. You can change this. You can make it to where you can just go to vote for any map. But how I do it is I like to make it interesting. So um, you know how DLC works on consoles, right? Um, how you pay for the uh, downloadable content, and then that person gets to use like extra maps or whatever that only they can use or they wouldn't others wouldn't be able to use unless they owned it that's what this is for this is kind of like my own DLC it's called extra content and how it works is you put an abbreviation of the uh, of the mini game content so let's say zombies Z zombies map pack one or if someone owns all the map packs MP all so this is just a quick abbreviation so you know that the person bought this extra content now I'm gonna get into how people are gonna buy the extra content in a minute so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get into how the accounts are made so there's two ways to do this there the way I do it and the way I used to do it. So I'm going to go through the easiest one. The way I used to do it before I had the website, uh, before I had the website all set up. So how I used to have people make accounts is they would ask me, "Hey, Plushy, do you can I have an account?" And I would say, "Okay, yeah," and then I'll write their username and boom, done. They could buy extra content, earn points, and uh, get on the leaderboard. Um, however, now I do it a bit differently. So you could either do it the fr the same way I used to, or you could set up your own website. You don't have to use Site123. You could set up your own website, figure it out yourself, and um, sign up from there. So I'm going to go and show you an example of how I do it. So how I do it is um, I have a website here. Now you can easily recreate this with the all the stuff that I have, the resources, the EPF resources, all the text, everything is found here. But here's how I do it. Somebody wants to make an account, they'll have to go to my website and then go to accounts plushy dash network dot seven one two three dot me. But if you want to do this, it could be like accounts dash uh Evan Gbo network dot site one two three dot me or something like that. You you do your own name and you could rename plushy account to like Evan account or something like that whatever you want to make it and basically how to make it a plushy account in my way is you have to go here now here's what's interesting I still let people make accounts the old way they asked me for one but that's only if they want a child account now a child account is how this works is look you see this account type I put as child and then bam, they're not allowed to use the leaderboard because they'll know, okay, well this account type, this is a child account. They're not allowed to use the leaderboard unless I see that um, it's changed to a basic account. So yeah, that's how that works. So a child account, you can't add their trophies. You can't add any um, uh, leaderboard score because they're not allowed to have those because they want a private you know what I'm saying they don't want their username on the website so they made a child account but what this is for is in order for their username to show up on the website on the leaderboards they have to show that they consented to the um, privacy agreement which I have written down uh, in, in another page it says note to parents well with this this assumes that hey your parents agree with you making the account because I'm not going to make accounts for people and uh, I sometimes when I used to do it where uh, you can make an account on the website this some parents would be like well this is a scam and all that so I had to put up this so next time they came around they're like okay uh, now I understand how this works you see what I'm saying 
so that's why I recommend you make your own how this works and all that I think you can copy it from my website probably by just copying text obviously but I'm gonna get into how this account is made so pretty much pretty simple site one two three just write the name the Nintendo Network account let's put the rain and then name you could just do the same thing the rain and then you can do a fake email like this you don't need a real email that's how I do that I just need your username I just need to see that your consent to the policy of the website you post comment enter a valid email um okay how to get away with that you I forgot to remove that space now we post and oh bam uh, it's sent now how this works is when I go on my account uh, my end I go into the uh, website and I can approve I can delete the comment but I'm gonna copy that username they give me and copy it uh, and paste it to this you know press enter paste it here put all the information that default information and there you go and that's how you create an account with plushy network on my way that's how I do it now you can do yours a different way you can do it the old way you can do it however you want but how I do it is more efficient in my opinion because you can make your account 24 7 you don't have to host in order to make the account now manage account pretty much same thing you just type in your username and then depending on what menu they they chose you know what I'm saying um, it would uh, I would change certain things like what they're allowed to go to and this is all the, the funny thing is this software or anything is not really software it's just Infor it's just a place where you put your infor the information in like a database you're the computer actually that's what I'm training you to do you're the computer this is the you are the program you are the code you are everything you are you are plushy network essentially that's what I am too I'm essentially plushy network when you think of plushy network you're actually thinking of my brain because that's what's processing all the information my brain is what built the website my brain is what made the folders and all you have to do is ins download the fo uh, the file the the files the, the plush network SDK and all of it's already there for you. you've you got a management software for free basically for this type of gaming you know simple service like this but you are the computer this pretty much this demands a lot of time though you need to be patient because I'm a patient person when this service started out not a whole lot of people use it and now there's 70 accounts so you have to you have to let it slide you have to let go and eventually even if you feel like giving up on the service like I have a couple times I just kept on going and then it people started using it so yeah so not everything's gonna be used so like some of these things are rarely ever used by people because there's no really reason other than making the account because all people want to do is play the mini games buy the extra content uh, play the extra content maps uh, earn points spend the points make accounts that's all people that's the core basis of plushy network and I'm going to be teaching you and and training you on how to actually run this yourself because it is important that somebody else can do this because I'm not going to be able to do this forever now We'll do this Facebook and Twitter account thing later. We'll get into that later. But let's get back to the account. So now I've broken down how creating the account works with the website. And you're going to have to build the website yourself. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. I know it's probably a lot of work. But actually, Site123, it's a free website builder. Uh, and uh, it's 500 megabytes of storage, unlimited websites you can make. Yes, it's limited, but how I kind of manipulated them is that they have a lot of features. Site123 has email features, all kinds of stuff, but I'm not using those features because you have to pay per website. I'm no, I don't have that money to pay. So I made a workaround by using blogs, and you can put whatever you want in these inf in the boxes. They're not expecting anyone to actually use this like this, but that's I just ba basically I, I beat them at their own game and it's pretty easy to do it yourself you just repeat everything I did alright alright so next 
Next order of business here, press space, is you're going to type in, let me see, Wii U-Ban or PS3-Ban, whichever, you can use this wherever, but um, Wii U-Ban, enter. So we're going to get into the banned accounts. Alright, this is fairly simple. You got the account ID of the person that is banned. You take that from the um, accounts folder when you manage that. But if this person doesn't actually have an account, then you can just write the, leave that blank. And then the username, the Nintendo Network ID of the person, and that's it. You can put the uh, you could put the reason for ban right there and length. But if you want to organize this under here, you can make definitions for yourself. So you can just make a name for it, make the name for the ban, and then you already have this filled out. So you don't have to fill this out. You just type in the name instead over there. And the reason for ban. That's pretty simple. And how the ban is going to work for you is you're going to remind yourself that hey, this person's not allowed to play on my server, and I'll just kick them. Now, uh, I don't really use this because I don't need to. I'd re I, it, the easier way of doing this is just to ban uh, block the people. Like, let's say somebody's crashing your game intentionally. You got a modder problem. You got a bunch of modders flying around your server. Just kick them out and remember their usernames and then block them on uh, your friends list on Wii U. Uh, simple as that. So that's pretty much already done for you when it comes to that. So we're going to get into restore account and I probably know you're freaking bored right now. Uh, I'd, I'd probably be too but trust me you're going to have a lot of fun once people give you uh, uh, a lot of praise for figuring out how to do this. So Wii U restore So how the restore account works is, see these files? You can just open these. These are just text files, but named differently, so that because they are organized differently, and you can open this and open with Notepad. Now, uh, a text processing, uh, a word processing software I recommend is uh, Programmer's Notepad because it's easier to organize everything uh, instead of this hot mess of junk with Notepad. So. As you can see, DPNR file, it's just, you just type in the username uh, and the information, you just re you just copy the information from the ac accounts and you just paste it under these boxes. That's it. Because when someone wants to delete their account, you, you take a copy of all their stuff, you paste it here, and if they want to restore an account, then all you have to do is open up the file and there's the little there's here you can make a little index of all the usernames here I'm not going to get into this very much because that's a little uh, I don't actually I haven't actually used that service yet that's the funny thing mostly some of these services like the restore account I just thought of ahead of time and nobody's ever had to use them yet because nobody's deleted their account yet But when that possibility comes, you know you gotta you gotta get you gotta be ready for it. So let's get into the leaderboard, and this is pretty simple. So type in LDB underscore we underscore Minecraft or MC. Uh, I typed that in wrong. Sorry. LDB underscore or no dash dash we underscore MC Dash, I keep on typing that in wrong. Dash we So here's the leaderboard so how the leaderboard works, you type in the username of somebody right under this box here, type their score, and every time somebody wins a game, you're going to add their points, right? But you're also going to add one to their score. You're going to add, so every time it's one. So when someone wins, one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Every time somebody wins, it's one. So let's say someone win, someone survives ten, 20 rounds on zombies, that's going to be 
If someone survives 10 rounds on zombies, they got one point out of that. They're going to get one leaderboard score. But guess what? They're not going to get another leaderboard score every 10 rounds. They only get one per game win. Okay? Even if it's a mini game that has multiple mini game wins, only one. That shows how many games they've played pretty much, or won. So, and the top, you type Y under the one user that has is on the top of the leaderboard. And to find the uh, cache for it, where you'll find... Actually, here's how this works. So the leaderboard, you have the information, right? When you're done and you want to save it, let's say you want to save the leaderboard for your website, and the leaderboard's useless unless you have a website. Uh, set up for it because nobody's going to be able to view that little board you're going to go in Microsoft Paint right and you're going to copy the you're going to control alt uh, print screen you're going to print the whole screen and then you're going to paste it into Microsoft Paint and then save it as a PNG file under uh, the folder um, right here if you go to main and you go to new leaderboards and you go to cache you save your PNG files here and then you upload them in the website builder on the page I'll show you where I have it this is how I do the leaderboard you may be like what am I even saying I'm trying to explain as as easily as I can um, so if you go to leaderboard how you see how I have this set up here I'll show you what it looks like see the image so this is the image right here this is the leaderboard and if we go back zombies leaderboard see image this is an image so that's how that works right there I mean you're gonna you're gonna probably have to figure that out yourself but yeah like I said some of this is not like easy to explain for me some of this is so next um, we're gonna go into the bed wars loot crate randomizer now you see this bed wars cache you don't need to use that anymore uh... pnet bw and as you can see this opens up the cache for you so what this is is you're just gonna type in so the my my bed wars mini game there's a loot crate it's one point you spent uh, someone asked for it uh, you ask them pick a number from one to one hundred let's say that uh, boss man J wants the number uh, 100 right let's say he wants the number 100 you write the date next to that it's 2 um, 13 2019 and they don't now that you see this they aren't allowed to have the same ki they're not allowed to have the same loot crate in the same day they can't have the same number that's how it works so whenever you use this Whenever someone wants to buy a loot crate in the Bed Wars minigame, you open this up, and then you type in the information. You can you can save it, and it'll just open it every time you're ready to run that. So I'm going to type in 100 like uh, Boss J asked for, and let's see what we get. Uh, we he gets 16 dirt, 20 coarse dirt, 8 grass blocks, and for more examples, I'm just going to type in uh, 45. Let's see what you get. Uh, th one gold na uh, golden apple, golden chest plate, wind sword. Uh, let's type in uh, 58. See, uh, on and on and on, just a random items depending on the numbers um, that you uh, put. And zero to exit, and just type zero. So pretty much uh, that's that. And that's actually almost it that's actually almost all the core services in fact that is all the core services plushy network everything else you gotta figure out yourself now i am gonna do a little uh... thing on the plushy network store uh... i'm gonna get into that here in a second first thing i'm gonna show you how the common command so pretty much the common command boots all of the common files so we just do pnet dash c wii u boots all of the common wii u files and oh as you can see we didn't even have to do anything we've got the accounts we've got the 
the registry for the Minecraft leaderboard. We've got the uh, temporary for the trophy service, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to have to show you how to do the trophies thing as well. It's a little weird, but you'll figure it out. Obviously, um, it's it, again some of this you might not even want to do. You might not even want to do the trophy service because you have to remember so much. You have to do. You have to run this every single weekend so much, like I have for the past year and two months. I've been running this service. You have to remember all this stuff. I've remembered all this stuff. It's in the back of my head. You know, these words are just falling out of my mouth. I'm not. I don't even. I'm, I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying. It just comes out of my mouth because I just remember how to do all this because I've been doing it for so long. So. Over time, at first, yes, it's going to suck. This is probably going to be the most boring thing you're ever going to do. But over time, once you figure this out, people are going to be like, Whoa, that's a lot of work, man. Good job. And really, you're not working. I'd, I've done all the work for you, pretty much. You're the one who's hosting it. Again, you're the computer. You're the mind. You're the brain. Nobody's thinking for you. The computer software isn't thinking for you. All this is doing is opening everything for you and making your life easier by you not having to go around all these folders and be like, okay, where's, okay, uh, uh, where's, where's, uh, where's that one image I need? Well, uh, yeah, you don't have to do that because this are automatically brings you to the folders you need to be in. So we're gonna get into the tournament or not tournaments, but the uh, the plushie network store, and after that we'll get into the trophies. Now you're gonna hate me for the trophies. Because that requires the website. You can skip the trophies in the Plush Network store uh, if you don't have a website. Because, guess what? In all the minigames that support extra content, the Plushy Network store is already built in the minigames. In an area in the lobby, everything's there set up. All you have to do is just see what information is there. Oh, you want to buy the one point kit for zombies? Bam, give you the items. It everything's already set up. You don't even need the website. If you don't want to do the website, you don't need the website. It's just you want the website. It's going to layer this thing even to make it like super awesome and different instead of okay, it's just an accounts thing. But you can do it to keep it keep it simple. Um, but the website is really the shine, knight in shining armor right here. That that makes the core services look really beautiful because now you've got this 24/7 website that everyone gets to go to and it makes your service seem like okay well man this had a lot of work into it so that's that's what that's that's what I'm getting at here that's why I made this pretty much it's actually the software it's it's simple it's not even I wouldn't even call it software really I, I I'm not a good developer of software I just it's just text documents but it's the way you use those documents, the way you use the files, the how you're using them is what makes it uh, the difference. So we're going to go to store that I'm going to go to it. You don't have to. I'm just going to show you an example. So you see the plushy network store right here. See this plushy network store, how to purchase extra content. Ironically, guess what? How to purchase extra content that ZPF. Oh, I wonder what's in it. It's this. The text right here. That's the text. So you don't even have to write anything. So as you can see, So as you can see, this is the store. Now you're like, what is going on here? I see Minecraft, I see Minecraft, I see Minecraft. They're like, where where do I find these images? I want to make my own plushy network store to coincide with my own plushy network. Now don't call you can use the plushy store logo. Just um the actual plushy network, don't call plushy network. Make your own logo, please. Don't use the plushy network logo. Uh, because then you're basically okay. Well, people are gonna get confused if okay, I'm plushy network, but there's another one. I don't want. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna be very happy if somebody uses my plushy network logo. But the club plushy, the 
Universe, all the other logos except for the Plushy Network logo you can use. Um, so you see this? We've got the Skull Cave map. We've got the image right here. You see this? You got all the you got the image and then the details. You see this? All you had all you want you know this all I had to do. This is actually a blog. This is actually a blog made into a store, and Site One Two Three wants you to pay money to make the store pages like an actual store. They want you to pay money, and I worked around it by making it to where because Plushy Network doesn't actually cost money. This is all fake currency. This is just ne this isn't even currency. It's just all for fun. That's 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 pretty much why I made Plushy Network because it it's it's a service catered to children for children technically by a child and it's just for fun now people are like oh why are you doing all this work for free why you, why you do all this i mean there's something wrong you've got to be scamming i mean where's the credit cards plushy i don't ask for email the only thing i ask is for your nintendo network id so i can actually identify who has the points cuz that's actually required I'm not doing this for money. I, I'm not. I haven't spent a dime. I haven't even spent a penny off of this because I've made everything for free. I'm using free resources, made my own resources. Uh, I didn't, half of these logos were made in Microsoft Paint. I mean, come on, and the edits too. But as you can see, you may be wondering, like, oh man, where's this text coming from? Well, come to the rescue. Go to data folder. You go to the hunted hunt hunt folder. You go to item expansion image and okay. So actually, this is the wrong folder. Expansion one. Excuse me. And bam! Already, you're probably like, okay, well, this is looking easy. All right. So meta.zpf. Let's just open it. Notepad. Huh, is this looking familiar to you? Yes, it probably should because this is the exact same thing. All you have to do is copy the text, put in the correct boxes on the website builder, and yeah, you're done. That, that's how easy this is. It's already all done for you. The thinking process is already finished. Image. Oh, we've got the, the dome. Small picture. Uh, mountain small picture, skull cave small picture, and then all of them together for the header right here. You see that? That's how easy this is. That that when you use the resources, because you don't actually have to make anything, you just have to figure out how to run the service. So, as you can see, look up oh, expansion pack three, expansion pack two, expansion pack one. Oh oh, Bed Wars map, Bed Wars map, Hunger Games map. Oh, see more, and our Hunger Games map, and the details are all there. The images are there. All you have to do is copy from those files, and there you go. So that's pretty simple. So you're probably wondering, how does the actual store work? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see right here, it says you must have five points to purchase extra content. Now, you won't know if you have five points, you're, unless I've told you in the game and you've played in the lobby and you've asked before and you've remembered how many points you have. So how this works is you write a response. So I'm going to put an NNID. I'm going to put a fake one, obviously. I'm going to put a uh, meme guy three. And I'm just going to do whatever here, do whatever here, at do whatever here dot whatever. And then post comment. And if when I go in to see it, or in your case, when you go in to see it on your end, you're going to be like, okay, this guy wants to buy the extra content. Just deduct the points, add the abbreviation for the extra content, and bam, next time you play, they're going to be able to use the extra content. Because every time you host a minigame, depending on who the people are that are playing with you, because if you press select uh, while you're playing Minecraft Wii U and you're hosting, you can see the usernames of everyone. So what you can do is you can go real quick. You can go real quick before you start the minigame round. Go look through accounts.txt uh, and see, okay, all right, uh, Leslie, uh, you have this, uh, this and that. So now you announce to everyone, hey, Leslie has all the extra content for this minigame. Hey, you can vote for any uh, extra content map now. Only one, uh, only one person has to uh, 
unlock extra content uh, in order for everybody else to vote for it or use for use it. That's how that works. That's how I'm doing it. You're probably like, this is the boringest thing ever, but I'm trying to I'm trying to teach this easily, but it's not very hard. It's not very easy. Excuse me. Now, what's this trending now? So let's say this is all obviously I I made this. So if somebody's buying extra content multiple times, multiple different people, then you can just put this image here, replace the here with the uh, uh, the link because if you click here, bam, it takes you here. So you already know. Okay, well this piece of extra content is people are buying this. People want this. I want this too because this seems to be like the thing that people are playing right now. That's what that tells you. So that's the Plushie Network store. You're probably falling asleep right now. I would understand why. So let's go to trophies. Uh, let's actually do it over here because it's a little easier for you. Probably. So PNET. Uh, I think it's Wii U dash trophies actually. Yeah, Wii U dash. Yeah. Okay. So Wii U dash trophy. And it's going to take you to this folder. You're going to see temporary. Now you need to open this temporary. Every time you're going to run your Plushie Network SDK, you do the common Wii U. It's going to open this temporary. This is actually required for this trophy service because you have. When you, this is what's going to get crazy for you. You're going to go nuts. There are 46 trophies that are on the mini games. You can make your own. You can do whatever. Only catch is you got to remember the details of every single one of these trophies, how they are unlocked, how to unlock them. So when someone completes a specific event in the actual mini game, okay, you're going to trigger this in your brain. I know I'm crazy. I know I must be a computer to remember this because. You basically have to remember the definition, everything, write it down, when it's available, when somebody did something, you write their username, I'm just going to write a fake username, then the minigame, fake minigame name, fake trophy name, yeah, that's going to take some time to remember. So, uh, obviously, um, this is some old stuff, but the, the actual trophy files if you can't understand by the title and the description there is there is a abbreviation system there and you just read that uh, this isn't used by the way that's not so let's go to SRV so string here text blah 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 alright so TXH is this is these are gonna be your actual mini game uh, trophies um, you open in notepad and you read through figure it out all of these are here yeah just figure it out yourself you can probably do it I mean I have you see all of them are here um, let's go to image apocalypse survival up oh, there's the image okay let's go to bed wars up oh, there's the images for the trophies up oh, let's go to carnival fantasy there are the images let's go to hunger games Oh, there are the images. Let's go to Hunted. Oh, wait, there are the images. Star Wars Battlefront images. Uh, Tumble Arena images. Zombies images. All uh, the images upon images upon images per for every single trophy. So, um. I'm going to show you what it looks like after you figure it out and build it. Not translate.google.com. Trophies. Oh, alright. Trophies. There's plushy dash network at 723.me. And I know this is long. It's probably tiresome and boring, but yeah. That's life. Alright, so this is what it's like. These are these TXH files. The information are in them. You got the images. You, again, figure it out yourself. Now, here's another thing in the trophies. Uh, this is our last stop before we can go to bed, sleep tight, and dead tonight. Because, yeah. So, the player profiles, learn more. 
yeah, this is uh, you're gonna make it a separate website for yeah the uh, every username that every person that has a trophy. So I'm, I'm just giving you an example here because I know you're probably not gonna be able to replicate all this without me showing you the actual uh, website uh, builder. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to. Um, show my account username and password so yeah this is uh, and these are the trophies that Leslie has you can see 24-7 uh, what trophies somebody has you just add it up to you this all I did all this this is not automated this is not automated it might look like okay it's a little algorithm or something nope I'm the algorithm which means when you host Plush Network you are the algorithm you are the computer you are the code you are the brain you are the everything because if it wasn't for you the service would not be running smoothly it wouldn't be running at all it wouldn't be a service at all so that's going to probably take you some time to get re to soak in that you are going to be you are this service depends on you when you run your own push and error you're the only one that's responsible for this. This is the only this is the only way this works. This is the only way I can figure out how this works. It takes a ton of time, ton of brain power, ton of it just takes so much out of you, but it's so worth it in the end to see that people are having fun. So again, I tried to make this as easy as possible, but yeah. So final stop here, we got the mini game worlds. Uh there is a software you can download um to uh, to import the worlds to your Wii U, you are going to need an SD card, and you are going to need to be able to mod your Wii U. Uh, so yeah, um, there you go. These are the uh, PS3. This is the PS3 folder. This is the Wii U folder. But the, the PS3 worlds are not updated, by the way. And I didn't mean to do that, but just letting you know, the worlds are right here. Um, I've I've gone through everything else. This is that everything else is done. So all you have to do is import the worlds to your Wii U. You are going to need to mod. That's the only way. You can't just put in the USB and expect it to go like okay, you're good. Uh, no, you're going to have to do some actual work to get this started. All right. Well, thank you for watching this video. I know this was a long one, but that is how to run the Plushy Network SDK.